Hey everybody, just back with another video. So again, just watching a little bit of question period in um, Parliament. And Pierre Paul, you have actually cut out um, a piece. It's just a quick little video of a piece of um, Mark Holland, who is one of the liberal uh, wackos in Parliament, saying something absolutely ridiculous. So let's just have a look. And then we can both, uh, we can all laugh and react together. summer fun time vacation where you're locked in a car for 10 consecutive days non-stop with no bathroom breaks and the conservatives have a plan for you to have that summertime fun and the cost give up the future of the planet right don't worry kids about climate change don't worry about taking action on the planet enjoy your 10 hours in the car and let the planet burn yeah i mean again that's the definition of wacko. Look at how emotional he was. Let the planet burn. You're not doing anything to stop it, moron. You're just making it more expensive to use things we need. And Pierre Paul, you have captioned this, and he goes, Liberal health minister, health minister, health minister, Mark Holland uh, says families taking their kids for a road trip this summer are letting the planet burn. That's what I mean. It's do what we say, do not... Have time. I mean, you're not going to have money for a vacation anyway, right? But they they want you to just do what they say, and oh, trust me, you guys are the problem. And if you take this vacation, the planet's going to burn. But my boss is on a private jet right now. There's 1,200 coal factories in in China. You can't do anything about that. Well, Canada needs to be the leader of climate change. And what are you leading? You're leading the world in being a laughing stock. You're leading the world in the fact that no one respects you. Every other world leader thinks you're a clown. But no, you you, you climate hypocrites, you, you're all right. Almost none of you have these electric cars. You're all uh, eating meat, or most of you, which apparently is just so bad for the environment because cows fart and somehow that's horrible. They just stand around and eat grass and fart kind of like a vegan so i guess they're bad for the environment too right i mean it's 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 so crazy how they're basically telling you that you're the carbon and they're essentially trying to get rid of your way of lifestyle don't go on the family vacation because well you're 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 going to be responsible for burning the planet and you need to pay more for gas cuz you're responsible for burning the planet meanwhile trudeau's convoy of cars that he has everywhere he goes are any of those electric? I didn't think so. And again, more and more people are starting to wake up from this. You can only be scared for so long and then you start to go, okay, wait a minute. They, they've been saying this shit since the 60s. It's 60 years later and yeah, okay, we could work on some green energy, but let's not make people starve because you're guessing of what's going to happen to the future. There's a lot of scientists who agree with what Mark Collins is saying. There's a lot that don't. So we don't know if, if this is what they're even being hysterical about is even true. There's people who think that the world's going to be over by 2025. That's in six fucking months. Cuckoo. That's what these people are. I mean, they're, they're just insane. They're, they're insane and they're living their lives through fear. And these people are, are for now, they're in, they're in power of our politics. Now, that being said, we do have an election coming up. It's still over a year away. That's the only bad part about it. Because when the election comes, there's going to be so many more people who are like, okay, listen, I care about the climate and everything, but I care about paying rent and having food more. Because in order to care about the climate, you need to eat and rent too, because, you know, otherwise you're just impo impoverished or starving. Let me know what you think in the comment section, guys. I always look forward to uh, reading in those, and I do reply to some of them, just sometimes there's just too many to reply to. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really, really helps grow this channel. We are finally over 1,000 subscribers, so thank you again very much. And uh, don't also, um, I also am now on Rumble, and I'm on X as well at the Dan Freeman Show, so you can follow me there if you like as well. Thanks again so much for watching. Have a great night, and I'll be back shortly with another video.